Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a hair and makeup tutorial. I get so many requests on this top knot and it's actually so easy to do, but there's like one little trick that I do that will make it a lot easier and just give it more shape. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that on camera and then I'm also gonna do this makeup tutorial for you. Um, I really hope that you guys like it. I tried to use a lot of new products for you, so I really hope that you guys enjoy that as well and let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys how I do my top knot. I've kind of showed it in another video before, but I'm gonna really show you guys here because I still get so many requests on how to do it. First thing you wanna do is obviously pull all your hair back. And I have like a lot of baby hairs, so I need a lot of hairspray today. I'm just gonna use this Bumble and Bumble hairspray right now and spray it all up in there, especially where the baby hairs are. Whew. So take like a brush like this. I actually use a paddle brush sometimes, but I couldn't find it, so we're gonna use this one. Start slicking everything back. Why are you laughing at me, Jeff? So now you just wanna start slicking it back. I like to kind of slick down my baby hairs too, right here, you know? Give that little J-Lo baby hair effect going on. I like do layers of hairspray because I just have a lot of baby hairs, especially back here. So then I just kind of lift it up and then start really coming through that as well. So after I have my hair up in a pony, to make my bun look a little bit bigger, I'm gonna use uh, a texture spray. This is the Oscar Blondie Pronto Texture and Volume Spray. And I'm just gonna kind of put that in the pony just to give it a little bit more fluff. All right, so here's the trick. So I grab it and I twist it once, like twist it all the way around once at the base. And then after you twist it once, then you're just gonna wrap the hair around. Like don't twist the rest of the hair, just take your pony and wrap it around the twist. You feel me? So that way it's like a wrap and it holds on to that twisted base. And then I just use my hair tie and bam, fabulous. But that's pretty much how I do it. It takes two seconds and it kind of always works for me when I'm in a rush. So that's the top knot. Now let's get on to the makeup. All right, so for today's makeup look, we're gonna be using a lot of glowiness, a lot of bronzer. So you wanna make sure that you wash your face with an exfoliator today. I used the one by NUX. This one is gonna make sure to leave your face really soft. And like I said, just get rid of all that dead skin. So I went ahead and did this before filming. This look is gonna be a lot of glow. It's all about skin. And so it's really important to prime your face. I know a lot of people skip this. I always talk about how important primer is. And what primer is gonna do is just fill in any fine lines or pores. And it's gonna make your makeup last a lot longer. It's also going to make it apply a lot easier. So in this month's Ipsy Glam Bag, I got the one from Smashbox, which is like amazing because Smashbox is really known for their primer. Primers. They have great primers. This is the Photo Finish Foundation Primer, and I'm gonna take a little bit of that and just apply it all over my face. And I like to kind of pat primers in. I feel like it pats them into any fine lines and pores better than rubbing them in. And since I've been sick, my under eyes have been a bit dry and just looking really tired, so I'm gonna just apply these Alcheck eye pads. And these are just really gonna help with tired under eyes. These feel really nice too, they feel nice and cold. So if you get puffy under eyes, you could always use pads like this to kind of brighten up that area while you do your eyebrows. So as these are sitting, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. The first thing I'm gonna do is apply my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel because it's the bomb and it's the best eyebrow gel ever. This stuff is like hairspray, extra hold for your eyebrows. And I find that by applying the brow gel first, the product clings to each hair, making my brow hairs look thicker. Okay, for my brows today, I'm gonna be using this brow pencil by It Cosmetics. This one is long wearing, so that's good, especially if you don't want your eyebrow to wipe off. And it's in the shade Universal Taupe, which is gonna work for a lot of different eyebrow colors. So I'm just gonna lightly start running that through the brow. And I'm gonna start doing hair-like strokes. So the way your hair grows in, that's the way you wanna be um, drawing in the eyebrows. So here it's gonna go up. Then they start to slant a little bit more as we go towards the tail. And then on the other side, there's a spoolie. So I like to kind of go through the brows just to get rid of any excess product. And then as I get to the ends, just following these hairs and kind of flicking the pencil outwards. So after I've penciled them in, I like to take the same brow gel that I used the first time 
take off most of the product and just lightly apply this to the brows right after. I take off most of the product just because I don't want it to take off any pigment and sometimes if you have too much product on your brow gel, it will mess with the pigment. So I like to kind of run these through the front and just kind of shape the hairs. Since I am growing out my eyebrow hairs, I have a few sparse hairs that are just annoying. So to cover them up, I use concealer and a small little concealer brush and I'm just gonna run that right under the brow just so they look cleaner. I'm just using my finger just to kind of blend that out so it's not so harsh of concealer. Okay, so my face at the moment is a little bit paler than my neck and shoulders because I always protect my face from the sun and I don't really like to use self tanner on my face because it can make your skin a little bit dry. So in order to get that really tan glow, I'm gonna use some of this. It's actually called Selfie Tan and Go. It's a face bronzer and it's gonna tan up my skin, but it just washes off right after. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off now and just apply some of this. So it's gonna just give like a really tan glow to my skin. You just wanna blend it in, make sure it's really well blended. So you guys, there's actually like a situation right now because I just got really tan and now my body is really tan. So I need a new foundation because mine is a little bit too light. I'm gonna use it anyway and just pretend that it's just as tan as my face. And I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible. This is in 108. I'm just gonna use this with a beauty blender and just pop it on. I recommend using this foundation with a damp beauty blender. I feel like it's a totally different experience than using it with a brush. I don't really like buffing this foundation in just because I feel like it's so matte that it will look crumbly and dry. So if you've tried it and you didn't like it, this foundation, try using it with a damp beauty blender. I'm gonna go ahead and run the foundation over my lips because I'm gonna go for a super nude lip today. All right, foundation is on. I love this foundation, I just love it so much. It makes me look flawless. So. We're gonna be doing a super smoky eye today, so I do not wanna do my concealer yet, just in case I need to wipe away any excess foundation. I want it to look super clean afterwards, so I'm gonna do the concealer last. So the next thing we're gonna do is just move back on to the eyes, because I really, really wanna finish off the eyes before I do the whole face. And I'm gonna apply my usual um, eyeshadow base. It's the MAC Soft Ochre. You guys know I love this. And it's best to apply this with a synthetic brush. I'm using the Glamier brush. This is a flat top kabuki. And I'm just going to evenly apply this over my lid. It's kinda gonna buff it out for me. So after I apply a cream base, you guys know this is like in every video, I love to set it with a powder. Use any bone colored eyeshadow or anything close to your skin tone. I'm gonna go ahead and use just this Free Spirit color. This is from the Tartlet palette. And I'm gonna run that over the whole lid, anywhere you applied creams, so it sets it and it's nice and velvety. All right, I zoomed you guys in just a little bit so you guys could see the eyeshadow better. This is the Urban Decay eyeshadow, it's called Riff, and it just looks like this. It's a really nice, warm brown. It has slight shimmer in it. I'm gonna first take this and apply it to my upper crease. And I'm using a Sigma Blending E25 brush for this. So I'm also taking it like in this area here. I want this to be kind of a super dramatic smoky eye. So this is the first color we're just gonna lay down. Just gonna kind of feather it out at the end. Okay, so I absolutely love this color for the crease, Urban Decay Drift, or Rift. Now I'm gonna go back into my Tartlet palette. Um, I haven't used this in a while. And I'm gonna go into Dreamer and Multitasker. They're just dark brown shades. If you guys have any dark brown shades at home, feel free to use those. And this is the 231 brush by Zoeva. So we're gonna start focusing this on the outer V of our eye. I like to use a smaller brush for this just because it's a smaller area of the eye and I don't want it to get too out of hand over here, you know. Just going in with this and lightly building this outer corner. I'm gonna keep my other blending brush like really close by just in case I get any crazy eyeshadow somewhere I don't want it and I wanna blend it out. All right, so I know I said I wanted to use a smaller brush, but I feel like this brush is actually a lot easier to work with. It's the miniature Sigma blending brush. So I'm gonna start going in with that puppy. 
in the darker color and smoking out the outer V here. So I'm actually gonna bring some of this dark brown also into the crease because I'm going to probably add a lot of black to this look also. So this dark brown's gonna serve as the gradient right in this area here. All right, so now that we've smoked our eyes out with the brown, I'm gonna go in with black. So any black eyeshadow that you guys have is just fine. I'm just, since I'm using this palette already, gonna use the black eyeshadow in the palette, which is called Fashionista. And I'm gonna use a MAC 213 to apply this. I'm just gonna start packing it on to the outer V as well and into the crease of the eye. I'm like debating whether I wanna add darkness in the inner corner too. We'll see. I like this MAC brush because I feel like I can pack on color, but then it's fluffy enough to actually like blend the color out as well, so I don't have to keep going back and forth between brushes. It's just a nice brush to have. And then going back into my Sigma brush, and I'm just gonna blend through all of that. So with black eyeshadow, it's a little bit tedious because I wanna keep adding shadow and blending it out. But with black, you wanna just do a little bit at a time. So that's why I've been just working on it for a second here. And I'm kinda of thinking I wanna try to wing this out just a little bit. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit more of the brown from the Tarte palette and I'm just gonna take that a little bit further into this inner corner just to deepen it up slightly. All right, so now we have this really nice smoky halo around our eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a color onto the lid. So for the lid, I'm gonna first apply a nice cream eyeshadow. This is actually a shadow crayon. It's from Trustique, and you can use this as just a shadow by itself, or you could even use this as a base, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna first take this and apply it in all of this empty area we have here. Sometimes when I use shimmery colors, I like to use a shimmery base underneath just so it's like more vibrant. I'm also gonna kind of put that on my tear duct area. So then after that, I'm gonna go in with a beautiful gold shade in this new cute Too Faced palette that I just got. So I'm gonna pick up, this is actually called Too Faced Love Palette. And I'm just gonna pick up this pretty gold shade. Any gold shade that you guys have will be just fine. I'm gonna use this really small detail brush. This is by Zoeva and it is the detail shader brush. And you wanna just blend it into the black. I'm gonna do the dark color in the inner corner as well. So I'm just gonna go back into this brush and apply some of the dark brown and black into this inner corner. I'm just gonna do it right here. I, I like to call this like the sandwich method of eyeshadow. When you like sandwich a pretty color in the center of two dark colors. Okay, now I'm just gonna go back in and continue to pat the gold color onto the lid. And if you would like the gold to be even more highlighty, you could always spray some Fix Plus on your brush or even water and pat it into the product and then also dab it with a wet brush. That'll always make metallic shadows even more foiled looking. So I'm gonna do my concealer now before I do anything else. This is a new concealer to me. This is by Nude Sticks and it's in the shade Medium 5. It has like a pinky undertone this color. So it's perfect for like my inner corner. I'm gonna use this Morphe brush to kind of buff it out because it's a cream. And I'm only applying this color right in this inner part because it does have like a nice peach undertone to cancel out the darkness that I have here. These concealers dry matte, so once they set, you're good to go. All right, I kind of just blended this to the outer corner here. Then to highlight the outer part of my eyes, I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Age Rewind. Then I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. Okay, and of course you wanna set the under eyes, so I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm not gonna bake or cook, I'm just gonna dust it over the under eye area. In my opinion, this is like the best under eye setting powder. Oopsie, I just spilled it. And of course, this is my favorite under eye brush. It's the e.l.f. blush brush, $3 at Target, holla. So once we do the under eye, then we can finish off the eyes. So for the under eyes, I'm gonna take a black pencil. This is by Too Faced, and I'm going to run this along the lower lash line and really, really smoke out the lower lash line, like really, really, like raccoon, really. So I'm applying this in the waterline and then also like on the lash line. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and blend that out before it sets, just really smoke it out. Don't be afraid to smoke out the lower lash line, especially when you're doing a smoky eye. Once you apply lashes and stuff, it doesn't look as intense. And this is just a Zoeva pencil brush. 
Okay, so now that we have the black, I wanna smoke it out even more using the same color we used in the crease, which is the Riff Color from Urban Decay. Same Sigma blending brush. I'm gonna run this right under the black, just so it's not just like black and ashy. You know, I want it to be a little bit more warm. I'm gonna use the gold down in the center as well, the same gold we used on the lid, popping it on a small little angled brush so I have more precision. Now I'm going to highlight the inner corner of the eyes and I'm using this nude stick in the shade Shimmer. I'm just gonna pop that into the empty space that we have right here and blend that out with the other side. It has a little sponge. Now um, I'm gonna do some mascara and eyelashes using my Roller Lash Mascara by Benefit. For some reason, I don't want big heavy lashes for the look. I wanna be able to really see the gold and all that color, so I'm gonna use the Demi Wispies by Ardell. These are pretty natural lashes, actually. Bet you guys thought I was gonna use House of Lashes Iconic, didn't you? Bet you did. After I put these on and let them dry a little bit, I'm gonna add a coat of mascara and then put more mascara on my lower lashes. All right, so of course you guys know I'm gonna bronze up my face using MAC's Give Me Sun because it is my holy grail. I'm using my MAC 168 brush. You also wanna do the jawline too. I also want to glow even more, so I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is in gold deposit and this is like super gold. Let me open it for you guys. This is super gold, ooh yeah. So I'm just gonna apply some of that, just sweep it across the cheeks and right on top of the eyebrow here. Not on top of the eyebrow, but above the eyebrow. All right, so of course I'm gonna go into my contour. This is my Anastasia contour kit. I'm going into the darkest shade. I believe it's Havana and I mix it with this one and then I'm just gonna contour with. So we also want to contour the nose. To contour the nose, I like to use my MAC Studio Fix. This is a powder foundation and it's in NC43. I just feel like it looks a little bit softer around the nose area, so I use this to contour my nose. And then I just take the same brush, I just kind of dust it off on my hand and take the banana powder from the Anastasia Contour Kit. And I like to add that down the bridge of the nose just so it makes it look a little bit more lifted and straight. So now I'm gonna apply a cream highlight. This is by Jouer. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to pat this on the high points of my cheekbones. And then over top of that, I'm going in with the new highlighters. This one is called So Hollywood. It's by Anastasi Beverly Hills. They will be available in August. I can't wait for you guys to be able to get these. So I'm just going to heavily apply that right on top under the brow bone as well. And then like even in the inner corner. I'm gonna apply it to my nose, just the tip, and I'm really gonna go on the Cupid's bow here. So now that my mascara has dried, I can actually curl my lashes, just to kind of make them sit up a little bit more so you can see them better. Now we're gonna apply some blush. I'm using Peaches by MAC. This is one of my favorites, especially when I do a super bronzy look because I love to look really peachy. So this is the MAC Fix Plus Spray, and this isn't like a long-lasting setting spray, it just, makes the makeup just set like the powders so that it looks more dewy and not as powdery. Now it's time for the lips. I'm gonna take first Oak Lip Liner by MAC. And then right over top of that, I'm gonna use this new lipstick that I just got by MAC. It's called Transformed. I love the way this looks. Like I really wanted to go for a super like lips almost blending into my skin type of nude. But um, if you guys don't really care for it to be that nude, you could use a lip gloss on top. This is also by Nude Sticks, and it is in the shade Buff. I thought that that was gonna add some more color, but I think the nude is just really, really nude. All right, so I'm gonna go with Anastasia an Undressed Lip Gloss on top, and let's see if that adds a little bit more pink to this. There we go. Just added a little bit more pink. So that's it for the tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and that you know the little top knot trick works for you guys. Let me know if it does. Snapchat me. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, like are we even friends? You know what I mean? Follow me on Snapchat. I will leave it in my description box. It's just Desi Perkins, one word. And that's about everything. So I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye.